G'day, I'm Steve from Moz Roma. We're here at the Queensland Caravan and Camping Show. We'll uh, go in and have a look at a couple of the exhibitors and see what they've got on offer. G'day, we're here with Tony with the Vista crossover. Tony's just going to give us a quick rundown on the old Vista. Yes, yeah, this is our um, latest version, it's called the TVK, um, being shorter, uh, less cost, less weight version. Goes so it's, it's a great little unit just to get out there for the weekends, a, yeah. quick, a quick getaway. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, very, very quick, very easy to tow, the yep. real McCoy. Fantastic. G'day, we're here with Ross from Camp in Comfort. Ross, can you tell us a bit about your camper trailer? It's a very workable little trailer. Very practical for two people, excellent for touring. Excellent, excellent. That's great. How's your reaction been today at the show? Has it been a good show for you? Yeah, we've had uh, excellent responses. Uh, people who have had trailers before, they uh, know what they're looking at, they yeah. know what they're looking for, and they can see uh, that we've really had a good go at, uh, at uh, addressing a lot of the problems. Fantastic, Ross. That's great, mate. Well, thanks, mate. Have a good day. Good show. Everyone has these days. When you get to car service, they use a rattle gun or an impact wrench and they tighten you wheel nuts and we just can't get it out. Now normally a, a rattle gun is... We're here with Mick from Earth Cruiser. Uh, Mick, uh, uh, tell us a bit about the Earth Cruiser, mate. Uh, mate, this is our um, long wheel base Earth Cruiser. Yep. It's designed for global travel. So this one here fits inside a 40 foot shipping container. Fantastic. And you can continue your journey anywhere in the world. So it's capable of going anywhere? Anywhere, yeah. G'day, we're here with uh, Paul from Queensland Ultima. Uh, Paul, tell us a little bit about the Ultima. Uh, the Ultima, uh, it's uh, built in uh, the States, in Indiana, uh, designed for Australian and uh, built to Australian standards, all naturally all fully compliant. Uh, we've been selling these now for two and a half years. There's around about 80 on the road throughout Australia Fantastic. and uh, really going strong. Yeah. That's great. That's People great. are loving them and, um, yeah, we've been selling our share and making a lot of friends on the way. G'day, we're here with Max and Chris from Winnebago. What can you tell us about the Winnebago? Winnebago, we're here at the Brisbane Show, which is uh, having a fantastic show. Excellent. Uh, Excellent. The weather's not great outside, but we're inside and um, we're a lot of people looking at our products. So right. very, very happy. We're also very happy about another thing. We've got a brand new dealer in Brisbane. That is excellent. We're well, not quite in Brisbane, <laughs> on the Gold Coast. So uh, on the lovely Gold Coast. On the sunny Gold Coast. On the sunny Gold Coast. <laughs> excellent. So can I introduce Chris? Chris Absolutely. Lippen from Hinterland, Hinterland Winnebago. G'day Chris. Chris, how are you? Chan? Pleased to meet you. You too. Chris, you too. Have you enjoyed the show so far Chris? It's been great, it's been a very big eye opener. We've seen lots of people come through and uh, as a new dealer on the Gold Coast servicing the whole of uh, Brisbane, North Shore, all that sort of thing, it's been uh, very exciting. That's great Chris, excellent. Well enjoy the show guys and yeah. thank you for having a quick chat with us. Thank no you problem. Much. Cheers. Thank you. Good on you. Thanks Good Max. You. Thank you Chris, you too. Why not? Let's do it. This man will go to any length, Chris. Do you bow? It's a bit of a cold. I think we're going to do a little bit of your outset. Oh, we're here with Dave at RV Towing Solutions. Dave, uh, what's new at the show here, mate, you'd like to show us? Uh, well, we'd like to uh, give you a briefing on the, uh, on the Clearview Towing Mirrors. Uh, they're, uh, they're a full replaceable uh, towing mirror, and the, the beauty about these things is that uh, they extend out to the, uh, to the full extent that uh, you'll see down beside a full-size van. Yeah, I've seen these around for a while, Dave, and they are a very popular item, aren't they? And uh, the question is, when are the 80 series coming out? I uh, knew you'd ask that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only stirring, mate. Yeah. Uh, so that's fantastic, mate, and thank you for your time at the show. No, Cheers, not mate. Not a problem. G'day, we're here with Kerry at uh, ModCon Campers. Kerry, what's the trailer that you've got here, mate? That's the Imperial um, HFD. The D stands for diesel. Um, it's forward fold hard floor. Uh, we initiated it onto the market. Um, and this is, to some extent, the mid-range of our campers. Um, it's a popular trailer and it's a very serious off-road trailer. Yeah, it looks like it'll definitely do the job, mate. Definitely do the job. How have you found the show here today, mate, besides the weather? 
Uh, today, the last two days have been relatively quite for us, but it's been a great show, to be quite honest. Fantastic. I've very enjoyed the show a lot, and it's been very successful for us. So Excellent. Excellent. That's yeah. great. Cheers, Kerry. Thanks, mate. Nice meeting you. Yeah, cheers. G'day, we're here with Paul from Vehicle Components. How are you, mate? Yeah, good. That's yeah. the way. Mate, uh, you want to talk about this coupling? Yeah, this is our new-to-be-released DA35 with integrated handbrake. Fantastic. What's the feature of this one? Well, before we used to have to sell a separate handbrake to bolt onto the back, where this is going to be incorporated so that people will be able to unbolt another brand and bolt this one straight back on. So it's a very simple setup that any, it's a straight on, straight off? Industry standard bolt pattern, so it'll just remove one, fit ours on. Mate, oh, I love that. I think that's a great idea. And uh, how have you found this show so far? Brilliant. The attendance has been great. Um, even with the weather, yeah, yeah. it's been really busy, been terrific. Good on you, Paul. Cheers, mate, and thanks yeah, for showing us that. Thank you. Good on you. Good on you. G'day, we're here with Warren from Work About Australia. Warren, how's it going, mate? Very well, thanks, mate. The show's been very good to us this year. We, we do our seminars every day and uh, tell people what we're about, help people start planning to get on the road. Uh, seminars have been full. We've had a great show, as always. Uh, Queenslanders always love us up here, and uh, we enjoy coming up here and doing it. So it's a pretty uh, pretty good crowd up here. They understand the concept of what Workabout's all about. They do understand the concept. A lot of people up here, they just seem to be ready to take that step, get out of the full-time work, start and get out and enjoy life a little bit, see what Australia's got to offer yeah. before it's too late to enjoy it. Fantastic, Warren. Thanks, mate. Thanks no for worries. your time. Cheers. No We're here with Stuart from Conqueror Australia. Stuart, uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about your camper trailers? Yeah, certainly. Well, what we've got is uh, a Conqueror Australia 490 Evolution, so it's top of the range uh, in the, our range of seven campers. Uh, very versatile, very practical, very, very off-road as well. So no, no limitations where you can go with a Conqueror Australia That's product brilliant. at the end of the day. So, so you've got seven in the range all up, so there's something there to cover all bases. Exactly. We start from our smallest model right up to our largest model, which can sleep about six people very comfortably. Fantastic. G'day, now we're here with Todd from You Fix It. Todd, uh, what's the new product that You Fix It have got? Well, besides our windshield repair kit, we brought out this year the new tyre ratchet, right. which essentially will allow anybody of any strength or capability to loosen off a rattled-on wheel nut. So it doesn't matter whether you're 10 years old or all the way up to 75 years old, you can do it with great ease. 3.6 motors on anyway. No. <laughs> it fixes fuel lines, fixes oil lines, radiator hoses, heater hoses, intercooler lines. By the time you have wrapped radiator hose and get the water in, it's ready to rock and roll and it's ready to go. Fuels won't affect it. Diesel, petrol, methanol or abgas. Insulates 8,000 volts per layer. 950 psi tensile strength. It's strong enough to actually make fan belts out. Yeah, Dave's just pointed out we've got another great little product here, Dave. What's this one? Uh, this is our, uh, our do-it-yourself smart line, right? Very, very simple uh, uh, closed line that attaches between the awning arms of your vehicle, right? All you need to know is, is the size of your awning, right, in an imperial, uh, and uh, we've got them all made up from, uh, from 8 foot right through to 20 foot. Right? That's fantastic. Dave. So I can uh, give you a bell, tell you the size I've got. Send them and, in the post. We can, we can send them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All comes conveniently uh, uh, housed in a, in a Velcro pouch for easy storage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very simple and effective little clothesline. That's fantastic, Dave. Thanks for showing us that.